begins the last weekend of January. Spaghetti and raffle tickets are on sale after mass in the vestibule. Spaghetti ticket orders are due by Wednesday, although you may buy tickets at the door. Please consider baking or making your favorite dessert to be served at our annual spaghetti dinner on Saturday, January 28th. See the bulletin for details. Watch our amazing pastor whip up his favorite dish on cooks with collars now through February 21st. Again, see the bulletin for details. And the Girl Scouts will be selling Girl Scout cookies after all the masses. A special remembrance is made in this mass for Victor Petrush Sr. Please stand. Our victory scene is number 571. Come Christians join to sing. Hymn 571.
direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We now call forth for children to meet with the Catechism of the Children's Liturgy of the Word. You know who you are. <laughs> Lord, we ask you to extend your loving care and protection over our children. They are the most precious treasure of our parish. Let your word break forth in, in their hearts. Let it be a sound, sweet sound to their ears and a light to their eyes as we send them forth in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
words, that all of you agree in what you say, and that there have been no divisions among you, but that you have been united in the same mind and the same purpose. For it has been reported to me about you, my brothers and sisters, by Chloe's people, that there are rivalries among you. I mean that each of you is saying, I belong to Paul, or I belong to Apollos, or I belong to Cephas, or I belong to Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, and not with the wisdom of human eloquence, so that the cross of Christ might not be emptied of its meaning. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. <laughs> Do you ever think about your relationship with Jesus Christ? Do you take him for granted? Or do you depend on him greatly? Is he friend? Or is he foe? Some people look upon, upon Jesus as the complaint department. When things go wrong, they point the finger at Jesus say it's all your fault. Some say it's all his fault when someone dies. He shouldn't have called them at this time. They might complain about other things. Who among us doesn't get sick from time to time? Who among us doesn't have a chronic illness? 
And Jesus, some people say, it's all your fault. On the other hand, there are people who have strong faith, God bless them. They depend upon Jesus as their support in life. The air, very air they breathe, they thank the Lord. They look to Him for comfort and consolation in time of sorrow. They ask Him to wipe away their tears. They ask Him to give them energy to go on. They ask Him to, to carry them through this valley of tears. The choice is ours. Yes, there's evil in this world. We're more aware of that on a daily basis. The horror stories we read about, the way the innocent are persecuted, the way the innocent suffer <coughs> drastically, horribly. But the Lord is our light, our salvation. He's the reason for our very existence. And as he gave Adam and Eve the choice, the freedom to decide for themselves, do they want good or do they want evil? Nobody really wants evil if it's ugly, repulsive. No, they stay at a safe distance. But if evil is wrapped in a beautiful package, they're really attracted to it. Just as Adam and Eve were attracted to that piece of fruit. It tastes good. It looked good. They felt they had to have it. Who wants evil in their lives? If a person is honest, he or she does not want evil. Because take away the wrapping, and you see it for what it really is. It's hurtful. It causes us to squirm. It's like a horror movie that we feel we have to see, but it doesn't give us a good feeling. Life is like a roller coaster, ups and downs, scary at times, a pleasure at times. And we feel we have to go back and have that experience, but we really don't need it. We need to sing something that's going to make us feel good because it's good. Yes, this idea of having choices can be a blessing. It can be discouraging. It can be painful. So many times we have to make a decision. We don't know what to do. If we're wise, if we have faith, we pray. We ask the Holy Spirit to guide us Tell us what to do, what to say, where to go, how to do it. It's like a, a manual that comes with a piece of machinery that spells out how we should make this machine operate in a good way. But some people are so very confused. Like they say, they look for love in all the wrong places. After all is said and done, they only feel guilt, shame, and a lot of negative feelings. They lose respect for everybody and everything, including themselves. Who wants to go to life like that? But all that can be changed simply by turning to the Lord and saying, I'm sorry, 
I made the wrong I made the wrong choice. I made the wrong, a big mistake. Help me to correct it and get it back on the right path that leads to love. And you are love itself. So we don't look don't want to look upon the Lord as the complaint department. We prefer to look upon him as the place we go when we need help to get us out of harmful situations. Life is short, we well know that. Loved ones come and go. We miss them terribly. But we are left with happy memories of days gone by. So let's start building a future for ourselves, knowing that God is with us and He wants us to make the right choice. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, and substantial with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us men and our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, who is born of the Virgin Mary, Amen. For our sake, who is crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets, I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord has promised to hear the prayers of the faithful in faith. We lift our hearts and intentions to Him. For the Church and her mission to proclaim the Kingdom of God in the world today, may the Holy Spirit continue to guide this holy work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who hold elected office, may God strengthen their efforts in protecting life at all stages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer from the pain of division and disunity, may God's peace prevail and renew a sense of oneness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For this safe community, may God help us proclaim the gospel well through our words and actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who are persecuted for matters of conscience or faith, May the Lord give them courage and keep them from harm. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have passed away from this life, may God soon welcome them into his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, we ask that you listen to our needs this day and answer them in accordance with your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our offertory then is number 641, O Christ our Teacher, in 641.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, with great and goodness. We have received the wine we offer you. Fruit and the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, we will be accepted by you, Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings, Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You form man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its honor. <coughs> to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim Of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Alfred our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the, the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Elizabeth of Hungary and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Fill him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am thou worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only, only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to a new life, we may always glory in your gift. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go for it, Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. The Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our session is hymn number 430. Go make of all disciples. Hymn 430.